Welcome back to the channel everyone. So in our previous video we have discussed about abstract class and abstract methods and in today's video we will discuss about interfaces in Java. Okay. So let's begin. First of all what is interface? So interface is basically similar to the abstract class but there is some difference and what are the differences we will see in today's video. So what we are going to do we are going to create this same program using interface this is the program of my previous video of abstract class and abstract method today we are going to create this same program using interface okay so let's see how first of all here as you can see i have one class interface demo in the main method so first now first of all i have to create interface so how to create interface first write interface keyword and then the name of interface in our case shape okay now in order to find the area, I need two variables integer r first and then double pi equals to 3.14 and let's say r equals to 5 again. Okay, and now I have to create one method. So let's create void and area. Okay, area here and now. There is one difference between abstract class and interface and what is the difference that if you remember I have told you in my previous video that abstract class can contain abstract methods and also non abstract methods but in case of interface interface contain only abstract methods if you write simple method here it will it will be considered as abstract method okay let me show you if I try to write something here system dot out dot print ln okay suppose simple area I want to write area here and if I the first thing is same that I cannot instantiate the interface because we cannot instantiate the abstract class this feature is the same and if I run this program as you can say as you can see it throws two errors what is the first error that interface abstract methods cannot have body as you can see here I have not specified abstract keyword here still it throws an error because interface interface contains only abstract methods okay it doesn't matter you write abstract or not but this method will be considered as abstract by default and the second error is shape is abstract so it cannot be instantiated okay so in order to use this area first of all we are going to remove these lines we can only declare this method here and second thing we cannot create the object of interface okay now what we have to do in order to use this area method we have to create a subclass right so our subclass is say for example circle again and now how can we use this area method because this is now interface not a class okay so in order to extend okay sorry in order to use the property of interface we have to write implements here in case of class we write extends here but in case of interface we have to write implements here and circle implements shape interface okay so like this you can write the subclass now we can use the area method so let's use it void area and inside that uh, let's take one variable double which is result okay and result equals to pi into r into r and let's just print it okay so system dot out dot print ln and here simply result now there is one more thing you have to remember that if you are implementing the interface you have to make all the method public here okay uh, but in case of interface this method is by default abstract and public also but in subclasses we have to make a method public okay so now in order to use this method we have to create the object right so let's create object of circle class circle c equals to new circle and simply call that method c dot area and if i run this program as you can see we got the correct output okay we got the area of circle here so the difference is the interface contains only abstract methods and 
in order to use the property of interface we have to write this keyword implements instead of extends okay so this is how we can use the interface now you, you might be thinking that that what is the difference like uh, we can do the same thing use the, using the abstract class also right so what is the purpose of using the interface so the main purpose of using the interface is to achieve multiple inheritance or to implement multiple inheritance if you remember in my interface video sorry in my inheritance video i have told you that java does not support multiple inheritance through classes but java can support multiple inheritance using interface okay so we can implement or we can use the multiple inheritance using interface and how that will be explained in my next video okay so this is all about today's video so if you have any doubts or query you can ask me in the comment section below if you do like the video hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel thank you